In this video, you'll learn how Particle's over-the-air compile and flash approach makes it easy to get started building IoT applications without having to mess with cables or manage a local compiler toolchain. In addition, you'll learn how that same approach makes it simple to update inaccessible or hard-to-reach devices once you've deployed a solution to the field. If you'd like to follow along with this video, you'll need any particle device like a photon, electron, argon, or boron, and a source of power. I'll be using a LiPo battery, but you can also power your device with USB. One of the most challenging aspects of IoT development is the process of getting started with a new device. Often, the setup process requires installing drivers, a local IDE, and a local compiler toolchain before you even plug in a board. This process is fraught with error, and if you're working with multiple boards, it might result in hard to diagnose issues if one toolchain or driver conflicts with another. When working with a new device, the last thing you want is to hassle with a tool standing between you and the thing you want to build. Particle OTA hosts a complete compiler toolchain in our device cloud, as well as every supported version of our device OS firmware. Simply provide your application code, and Particle OTA creates a binary for your device. With Particle, it's easy to program, compile, and flash your devices without having to install a single local tool. This means you can get started in a browser and get firmware running on your devices in minutes. When you're ready to move to our dedicated tools like Workbench and the CLI, OTA, Compile, and Flash are still available, so you can continue to update your devices even when they're not physically within your reach. And for customers building products, Particle OTA gives you the ability to flash entire fleets of devices, either all at once or using convenient APIs to apply updates only when those devices are ready to receive them. Let's look at an example of OTA in action with a Particle Argon. I've already claimed my Argon using the Particle mobile app, so I'll open the Particle Web IDE and create a new project. This simple project uses a digital write to turn on the D7 LED included on every Particle device, pause for 2000 milliseconds, or 2 seconds, and turn it off again by setting the D7 pin low. In the Web IDE, I can click the Check button to verify my code, which performs a compile using Particle's cloud-based compiler toolchain. Then, when I'm ready to flash, I'll click the lightning bolt icon to apply the firmware binary to a device that I've selected. When your device is being flashed, the onboard RGB LED will let you know that an update is being applied, first by blinking magenta, then white, green, and cyan as your device resets and comes back online. If you're applying a new version of the device OS firmware, this can take a few moments, but most of the time it's quite fast. If you're working on a firmware project using Particle Workbench, Cloud Compile and Flash are still right at your fingertips. With the firmware project open, launch the VS Code command palette using Command or Control Shift P and search for the Cloud Compile or Cloud Flash option. Finally, if you're working with the Particle CLI, you can use the Particle Compile and Particle Flash options to leverage Particle OTA. In both of these cases, your Particle device will flash magenta during the update and restart in the same way it would from the Particle Web IDE. Congratulations, you're now a Particle OTA Pro. To learn more about Particle OTA, head over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!